I think a good architect um, actually pays for themselves uh, more than once. So if you spend a percentage of your budget on your architect, y you will reap the reward and the building will be hugely better and deliver much better value for it. It's that simple. It's a process which delivers, it optimizes human energy, which delivers the best possible result, which resists compromise and which um, delivers all the things that we expect of great buildings. Happiness, beauty, delight, functionality, uh, space, ergonomics, you know, a joy, all those things actually which, which a good building should do. The second thing I wanted to say is that I have never, at least in this kind of culture, I have never visited a great building which did not result from the involvement of an interested, really passionate client. I, I don't know how many, I mean, Stephen won the selling prize in the first year, it was, it was, um, uh, it, it ran. Uh, since then, I, I visited pretty well all of the uh, nominated shortlisted buildings when we filmed them and uh, there wasn't a single building nominated which wasn't there because of a, a passionate interested client and and that applies to our the houses of the year that we film every year now for channel four it applies to grand designs we've you know we've got we've got passionate clients and architects collaborating sitting on the sofas here so that's a really important point um, the third thing is i suppose uh, that, that flows from that is, is the question, well, how do you employ, you know? How do you as clients get empowered? How do you find that architect to collaborate with? And, I, and I, the thing I'm curious to know whether or not, it, it might be answered here, is whether um, it, it, what I believe is true. That is, that uh, as an engaged client, uh, your responsibility primarily is to find the architect, and there's no excuse now for not finding, because the RIBA make it very easy, and everybody's got websites, um, to find those architects whose work you don't just admire, but to find those people, the architect as individuals, who share the, work, the, the same view of the world as you do. And that seems to me to be fundamental. You, you, they ought to be people who might become your best friend one day, not immediately, only when the job's over, but people who share your view of the world. Because you are giving them a great deal of money, and not just their fees, but I mean, I mean the project, budget. You're allocating a great deal of money to an idea which you're asking them to give back to you fully formed. You're asking them to deliver your future. And therefore, there has to be an absolute connection between you as individuals to be able to do that. And um, I'm really fascinated by this survey. I'm fascinated because architecture is changing. It's always changing as a, as a process and as a, and as a uh, in response to, to, to our changing world. And um, it's evolving.